Hello, welcome to Ponda Dreams. I'm really excited to show you what we're doing for science this year. Let's get started. So my kids are going to be in fourth and fifth grade this year, and I was trying to figure out what are we doing for science? I had everything kind of figured out, but science was elusive. And I was researching and researching. I looked at so many box curriculums and they all looked great, which wasn't helping my decision making at all. I, I got decision paralysis. So I went to YouTube. I love looking at curriculum videos. In fact, that's pretty much why I started this YouTube channel in the hopes that maybe I can help somebody else and their decision making. And somehow, thank you YouTube algorithm that put this into my feed, I ended up on a video by Kylie Evans and I'm going to link that down below because thank you for posting this information. It made the light bulb go off in my mind and I haven't been, I this might be the most excited I've been about science and I don't know when. Um, so she talked about just using a textbook. And I loved these textbooks when I was a kid. So I just went on eBay. I found this. It's a grade four. And I went ahead and bought a grade five also because I think I'm going to enjoy this so much. And I think my kids are going to enjoy this so much that we want to do it for the following year. Um, but so this is called Science a Closer Look. And it is a Macmillan McGraw Hill textbook, just like you find in a school. And actually, the art's really nice with this. It's quite lovely. Um, it's a 2008. I think I paid $20 for this, and the prices range. Um, she had said she found hers for 10. I found mine for 20. I saw listings for much higher, you know, eBay and the used book market. So, but this actually is in fantastic shape. It looks pretty much brand new. Um, but I'm going to just show you a little bit about this and how I have pretty much, because I love to plan things, I made a little curriculum for us here. Um, so it starts off with be a scientist and it covers the scientific method. And I look forward to reading all of this. It's broken up into three sections. We have life science, which has unit A, which is living things. And then within that unit, it's broken up into two chapters. Kingdoms of Life, which has four lessons, and then a chapter review. And then chapter two is the Animal Kingdom, which has four lessons, and then a review. And at the end of each unit, there is a Careers in Science section. So the unit B, under Life Science, is Ecosystems. And then we have chapter three is Exploring Ecosystems, three lessons with a chapter review. And then chapter four under that is Surviving in Ecosystems, three lessons, a chapter review, and more careers. And we move on to earth science. We have unit C, earth and its resources. And there's chapter five, shaping earth with four lessons. Chapter six, saving earth's resources with five lessons. And then we have a review each time. Unit D, weather and space. We have chapter seven covers weather and climate. We have four lessons and then a review. Chapter eight goes to the solar system and beyond. Four lessons and a review and careers. And then our last section is physical science. Unit E is matter. Chapter nine covers properties of matter, three lessons in a review. Chapter 10 is matter and its changes, three lessons, review, and careers. And then the last one is unit F, forces and energy. We have chapter 11 covers forces. It is four lessons with a review. Chapter 12 is energy, five lessons, review, and careers. This will list out, after where we go back through the sections, life science, earth science, physical science, it has activities and investigations for the table of contents. But this is where I was trying to figure out how am I going to do this? What, what is going to be our activity? My kids love to do labs. There's labs and experiments throughout this entire book. The very first thing, explore what are living things made out of? And it talked about having a hand lens. So I went on to Amazon and I found this little Carson LED. You can just set it down on the surface and look through 
lens. Here, I'll give it to you. Hopefully we can see it better. Pocket micro, micro, 20 to 16 time LED lighted zoom microscope by Carson. These were very inexpensive, runs on a AA battery. I got one for each of my kids. And the first experiment is just examining onions underneath. But not only do we just kick off with that, everyone starts, every lesson starts off with an explore. Every lesson also has a quick lab listed. Lesson reviews. Then we have focus on skills. So I knew, I just kind of wanted to go through and figure out what are we doing for each one of these? And there are some things that um, require weighing. So I also, because I just, I'm going to turn our house into a lab apparently, um, went on and got this precision school balance with weights. And it's actually kind of cool because right down here, you have all your different weights. So whatever you're weighing, you can put in one side and this, they have very small ones. And then you have your largest weight. I'll show you the box for that. It is this, Learning Resources Precision School Balance for eight plus, but I mean, that is arbitrary. I think you could use that with a younger one um, age. But anyway, so we got that. It has built-in storage with 10 brass weights that run from one gram to 50 grams. So we have that. And then I just kind of, oh, one more thing I want to show you. I found this too. Interactive notebook, Science 4. It's Carson DeLosa, but it has lots of different activities in here. Getting started, what kind of notebook should I use? It has all these different activities, animal classification, getting energy, traits and heredity, mass and weight, changes in energy. And all of these, I went through every single one of these, correlates to a lesson in this book. So we have an interactive notebook to go with this. And so I went to Excel and I just kind of set up a lesson plan. I went through the entire book and went chapter to chapter and I picked out which ones I want to do. So for lesson one, we're going to do the explore with the onion slide activity. And I came up with a video option on YouTube if you did not, because at the time we did not have these. Um, but I ended up buying them. When I started making this though, I found the onion slide activity as, as a video option. So this is just kind of a breakout. And then I have on the ones where there was for how seeds reproduce, there happens to be a flower parts and pollination out of the interactive notebook that goes well with that lesson. So I just kind of broke that out for each one. And I'm very excited. I think we're probably going to be doing at least one, probably more like two uh, experiments or labs each week. And at the suggestion that she had in her video, I went ahead and got this just in case we need to reference something a little bit more. And also because it's been on my wish list for two years on Amazon and I finally had an excuse to get it, honestly. So I got that to go with it. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you a flip through of the book. Lots of fantastic information. As you can see, there's just really packed with experiments throughout and you don't need any other sources. There are others out there if you want to have the teacher's manuals or if you want to have the workbooks, but you really, I went through this, you honestly do not have to get that. Um, everything that you need is in here and at the end of, let me show you this. Oops, pardon me. At the end of each chapter, there is a review. So we're going to be doing this. Um, it has vocabulary, review, fill in here, skills and concepts. Um, so there's just a lot of different things. So we are going to do these at the end of each of the chapter reviews. There's not one for each lesson, just for the 
the chapters, but there are lesson reviews that you can do together. My plan for the lesson review is to do these orally with the kids, and then for the chapter reviews to have them write that into their notebooks, which is where they're going to um, put all of their um, pieces from in here. Um, I'm going to have them just have an, an interactive lesson or review notebook and just put all of that into one um, spiral notebook. So anyway, I was so excited to have this idea presented and my kids have been hearing me talk for the better part of a month about how excited I am about science this year. So um, we're going to be um, growing butterflies as part of that. There's just all kinds of great ideas and activities in here. And none of these labs really call for anything expensive. Actually, even just getting these two handheld microscopes in the balance did not cost all that much. So that is a look at what we're doing. We have the textbook that I found on eBay, my teacher guide that I made for myself, the Carson DeLosa interactive notebook for the same corresponding grade. This is a reference just in case the handheld microscope and our balance scales. And that is what we're doing this year for science. I will make an update video and let you know how this turned out and if it is as amazing as I am anticipating. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm curious to know what you're doing for science. What do you think of this idea? Let me know in the comments. And please make sure to like the video and to subscribe. Thank you.